Okay, Challenge B, moms and students, this is your week two update. So we have done week two at home, and today we had our in-community time for week two. Um, it was a really great day. Everybody stayed focused the whole day. I let them get a coffee or hot chocolate after lunch, and I think that helped. And um, we started off the day with uh, we start off the day with prayer, and then we looked at our scripture for today, which is in their sketchbook. So look at their sketchbook. Have them students grab your sketchbook real quick. Open it up. Show your mom what you did today and the verse we wrote about um, how the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy and that uh, Jesus came to give us life, that we would have it more abundantly. And so whenever we kind of went through something today that brought us back to a word in that scripture or a thought about that scripture, we would jot it in the sketchbook on that page and also any other notes from class that um, were pertinent or whatever, they would put it on their sketchbook page for today. So um, we began with Lost Tools of Writing. Make sure they come with their Lost Tools of Writing workbook every week and their book that, they're, that we're working on and then their work. So they came to class with their Annie charts, their affirmative and negative and interesting columns. And what we did today was we w took it from an Annie chart to an outline. We were doing the LTW book is broken up not in chapters or lessons, but by essays. So our, paper, our essay for Monday will be on essay two. There's a sample essay in the back. Uh, hold on a second. Okay, so we took the Annie chart, we took it from that, we sorted the Annie chart out, we looked at each column, the affirmative and the negative, and we looked at uh, the groupings of things, and I took a photograph of it, and I'll send that to you. Students, look at that with your mom, show them what we did, how we organized all the information into categories, and then we had our proofs, because we're writing a persuasive essay, and so our proofs, if you look at the kids' workbook or mom's, your... Um, teacher guide, essay two, arrangement template, introductory persuasive essay, this is the outline. Okay, and the proofs are to prove your point, to prove your issue or thesis. Um, and then and it's very basic, and as we go through the year, they're gonna get a little bit more complicated. In the back are sample essays in the appendix, the first part of the appendix. Go to essay two, sample essay, and basically it's gonna mimic this. Essay two in the sample essay. Sample essay two, you have an A and a sample B, either one. And what's in the bold print is gonna be talking about the sub proofs. So students, show your, show your moms what that's all about. Okay, they need to be reading Little Britches. It needs to be read by Monday. Um, then we did Latin, and we got into Lesson 3. And so, again, they need to do their vocabulary cards. And then, you know, this is an area where you need to decide what they need to do. But we did some translating of a couple sentences today, so they kind of get a gist of what we're doing. Pick out a couple of exercises for them to do. Tell them which ones to do, and then they need to bring that with them to class. But the thing with Latin is you're really just going to have to read the lesson. Just take it bit by bit. This week, it's just declension three, which is the same thing as lesson three. So you've got four days to get through it and just do a fourth of that lesson a day. Um, we did go through the, declen the third declension. It's the biggest one, and we just have two more left, two more declensions left. Okay, so um, then we did science. Uh, everybody did great in science. Um, we have a we have a science paper every week, and then we also have a current events just just to kind of get an idea. We have a science paper every week and a current events summary presentation every week. So they read their papers in class. We made this awesome list on Hipparchus of everything. You know, the first person went and we listed everything facts from their paper. Then the second person went and we pulled out any facts that weren't in the first paper and so on all throughout the class. And um, that worked out well. And then we created a history sentence 
or a history wrap, science wrap on Hipparchus and they'll need to know and memorize that sentence for their blue book exam in December or it'll be in November. That's the end of the, that's the end of the semester. And so every week we're creating a history sentence and they have to memorize it. And that's what they'll need to know about Hipparchus for their test. Then we went to lunch and I think everybody had a nice time and came back and got back to science, went over this coming week's paper. If your student did not have a paper to, this week, it's fine. Look, we're all having a grace period here because we're learning everything, including myself. Like I learned last week, I need to get this video done on Monday nights while it's fresh on my mind. So I'm learning too. In the debate appendix, turn back there real quick. I'm sorry, not debate, research, research, research. Research in the appendix, that's science. Research, it's gonna be on page 176. Right here, what do we do on Ptolemy? Do week three, it's going to be due Monday. This paper was due today. This paper's due Monday. Well, it's actually not a paper. Look at it. They are going to research. That's part of the strand. They have to do the research. It tells them what to research, and then they're actually going to draw or make a representation to demonstrate what the geocentric model is that Ptolemy um, theorized. Okay. Uh, then we went to logic, had a great time in logic. Every, they're all like, this is my third year tutoring logic. And I'm saying like, we're already, in, we're in week two and I'm already seeing like, this is going to be fun. Like everybody's enjoying it and having fun with it. So today we just worked on exercises. We are done with lessons one through five. Tomorrow for week, beginning week three, they're going to start lessons six through 10. Read a lesson a day and let them do the vocabulary cards. Read a lesson a day vocabulary. If you wanna get into exercises, that's fine, but the students need to know the vocabulary. That's where the bulk of the time needs to be focused. And then exercises will be next week. So uh, let that be your focus for logic. And then um, But anyway, we did a lot of exercises in class today. We went through all five lessons, all five exercises, and they all contributed and talked about it and worked together, and that was awesome. So they're all getting it. Also, back to science, when they did their, uh, when they did their presentations, we did compliment, critique, or comment, and they all got good compliments. And as they get more comfortable with each other, they'll start critiquing, but... Um, they did great. So we didn't get to math today. We were trying to make up for some lost time last week. So we will do math next week. I think we finally got a groove and that'll work. Oh, debate. Okay, current events. So we discussed abortion today. We discussed the Supreme Court ruling. We discussed a lot of the new terminology. We discussed what life was and that went with the scripture from this morning in our sketchbook. Life. Who determines life? What is life? And I'm going to send y'all a Ben Shapiro um, kind of a lecture. It's not too long, but it's a student. It's a college student asking a question and him responding. I might send a couple for your students to watch um, that might be helpful in understanding uh, what life is and who ordains it. And um, there was a little bit of the, the students were a little bit, un, not all of them, but some of them were a little bit unsure about when life began or when it was meaningful. So that might help you this. Um, so this week they need to research two articles on the sample issue. The sample premise is um, should euthanasia be legal in all states? And we discussed a little bit about euthanasia I mean, it was just like at the end of the day. So you might want to discuss that a little further. Find two articles and fill out a current events form for each article. And that's it. And if you want to kind of stay or you could do, I'm fine. If we want to stick with, keep with abortion for a little bit longer so we're sure we are understanding that. Or if you want to move into euthanasia, you could research Terry Schiavo. You could research... Um, 
that little baby boy in the UK this past winter, this past spring, Charlie Guard, um, how they uh, essentially quit feeding him because they could not cure him. So um, those are some that you can research. Do If you wanna do an, an abortion and a euthanasia, maybe do more of just like what's happened, like a, a, a simpler case. I may have gone too far with the Supreme Court case, but anyway, I think they got it. And uh, we had some pretty good discussion today, but I'm gonna carry it on to next week in class and we'll have more discussion on right to life and um, just have them bring in two articles, two forms. And um, anyway, okay, so please send me any questions you have. And if they want coffee next week, have them bring a Go Cup for their coffee. And I'll be happy to buy them a cup from our coffee stash. So thank you, and y'all have a great week three. Bye.